Today, we're gonna be using this thing, the Apogee MQ510. We borrowed it from a buddy, so thanks, Tim, because <laughs> I don't wanna to have to shell out over $500 for a par meter. These are the Philips Coral Care Gen 2s and I'm really excited to put them to the test under this and compare them to the settings I was using under my Radeon slash T5 slash AI Vega lighting situation. Now, in all fairness, I did not have those Radeons and the other lights all at 100%. I had them at like 90 or 95 or something along those lines and that's what I used for the PAR readings um, because that's what I needed for my tank. We're gonna actually get the numbers to it here today. Now, the first thing we have to do is, I lost the frag over here, um, my Bill Murray, and uh, we have to go on a rescue mission. And this is actually like kind of a big deal. Like I've been looking at, for this coral for like two days now. It got knocked off my rock work. It was a coral that I bought from Top Shelf Aquatics um, a couple of months ago. And I, it just, disappeared. It has ever had that and in this size of a tank it's a big problem. You get 300 gallons here and from front to back and all this rock work is 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 uh, one it's got tons of coral all over it and number two it's just all uh, you know like together. It's a lot of together and it's going on in there so we're gonna need to find that coral. Um, let's do that. Let's get him back in. So unfortunately, my battery died the first time I tried doing this, so here we go on the second try. All right, so here we go. The first thing that I'm gonna do is control the lights. Controlling the lights is actually very easy. There's done, it's done in two channels and it's done via the Coral Care app. So I'm gonna show you hopping on the phone right now how easy that is. Just make sure that you're connected to your Wi-Fi um, as you've already connected the controller to your own Wi-Fi at home. Then what you'll do is go to the Philips, oh wait, I still get that mixed up. You'll just go to Coral Care Gen 2, there it is, Philips Coral Care. But ding Go ahead and click on your Coral Care unit, hit connect, and we're connected. Now I can go to direct control and I can hit from a list of presets, like all blue, uh, nine minutes, and then we'll go to all, wait, which one did I just do? That is not all blue. <laughs> that one was, oh, everything at 100%. This is 100% on everything. Then you have the ultra blue, um, which I threw on there, intensity 76%, all on the blue scale. It's gonna be hard for this to, to pick up because there's so much light on my face and I'm white. So, big shocker there. All right, so what I'm gonna do for the test, for the PAR, is I wanna see how much light these can put out. Now, I've been told that the preferred, well, I'm gonna bump this up to like maybe 15 minutes, now I've been told the preferred um, mounting height is anywhere from six to 12 inches. I have these at 12 inches uh, exactly, and I think they're okay. I may in the future lower them just slightly, and you'll see why here in just a little bit. Just so I can have a little bit more SPS down towards more of the bottom. I really want this thing to be from top to bottom SPS. What most people do is they just have like some type of floating scape and just have their SPS halfway up. Um, and then up from there. And you can do it that way. Now, as you can notice, this is a very daylight setting, 
right? Um, please excuse all the Coraline on the glass. We are in the midst of, um, you know, getting ready to, to move, to sell the house. There's a lot of work to be done around here. So forgive me, y'all. Forgive me, please. All right, so anyways, this is a very daylight setting, as you can notice here. Um, I thought to myself, you know, that's not like the prettiest thing to look at, but here's the deal. Like, I'm at work all day when this is on, like this. And if this is what Coral Care, this is what Philip says, is going to give me the best growth and opportunity for coral health and coral development and color, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm testing that out. Plus, that's how I'm going to get the most par out of it. So I'm with you guys. And at first, I really wasn't like that big of a fan of the all blue setting. Um, I found it a little bit lighter than I than I would typically like. It was more like a T. It's darker than a T5 blue. So, um, but it, it was more like that, in, in my opinion, after going from the Radions, which can give you a really deep purpley blue. Um, this doesn't uh, go that far because it's on two channels. It has those same color diodes, but it doesn't. It you can't control those individual um, those individual colors individually, individually individualistically. We are going to run the PAR data for this and just show the spread and, and how high the PAR can get towards the top. Now granted again, if I were to lower my lights, I'm gonna get higher PAR. So this is just a baseline, work with me here, okay? All right, now, what I had on the other, um, what I had before was, if you remember correctly, three radions across the back, T5, um, and then uh, three AI Vegas in the front and the T5. So, so these are the par results that I got from the very highest in scientific, very high class scientific uh, uh, sticky note here. At any rate, um, towards the, uh, the very, very top over here at the Walt Disney, we had 350. Um, the PC Rainbow, which is right there, we had 170. And the green and pink, because I have no idea what that coral is named. Uh, that one down there, we had 180. Now, this one is 170 because there's a very thick brace right here. And the, the uh, radions and you know everything had a hard time shooting light up underneath those braces. And what I can tell you is that after putting these lights on, you don't see the shadow underneath the braces. So you're obviously getting more light there. Are we getting the par? We'll see. Um, the strawberry shortcake right here in the, uh, the middle on the side, we were getting... Um, 170 the red planet up on top that was moved slightly but it's at the same height uh, we are getting 200 and the sand bed down here we're getting 90 okay down in the front fox flame which is right dead here right dead in the center we were getting 280 the thing which has moved over there it was right here we were getting 220 um, the jedi mind trick uh, we are getting 170 that's down there at the bottom uh, the Zoas, right down here in the uh, on the bottom, we were getting 100. And the black glass, we're not even going to worry about that. The Fruit Loops, which are right over here in the front, um, we are getting 200, which is interesting. Oh, Fruit Loop, sorry. The Fruit Loop back row in the back. That's what, that's what that one was for. 200. And the Sea Bay Anemone, we were getting 220. Season's Greetings, right here in the front. 150 and then left sand 92. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna compare all those same uh, measurements at those ex same exact locations. Let's do that and let's see what we got. Radeon, pink, Coral Care Gen 2. So what I see is a decrease in par overall, okay? However, what I also see is better spread. So for instance, the PC Rainbow, okay? Well, look, let's look right dead under where the Radeon would have been, which is that Walt Disney right up here, okay? 
That one got 350 with the Radions. It's getting 315 with the Coral Care Gen 2s. All right, so still within the range of keeping SPS. Is it less than what the Radeon was putting out? Absolutely, definitely. However, it's still within the range we can keep SPS. And I'm getting ranges down here with the strawberry shortcake of 210 halfway down the tank. If I brought these lights down six inches, I could probably even have 200s down here towards uh, the bottom the bottom quarter of the tank even. But, but what really intrigues me is the spread on these lights. So not only is one light handling the entire uh, third of the tank where I had multiple stacks of lights to be able to handle it, I'm getting more par down on my sand bed for LPS or whatever I wanna put down there. I'm also getting better par underneath these braces and so if you have a marine land tank, you know these braces are absolutely redonkulous. They're crazy. Um, they're like that wide. I don't know who needs a brace that's six inches. Okay, maybe like three or four inches wide, but still wide, too wide. Um, the PC Rainbow sits right underneath the, one of those braces and with the radions, and it's still in the back quarter of the tank, and that's where the radions would have been, it was getting one eight. Uh, it was getting one seventy, and now with the Coral Care Gen twos, because of the spread of that light, it's getting two fifteen. So it's getting a much healthier amount of light, and it's getting light down in the nooks and crevices of the the actual coral itself. You're going to get more areas of healthy tissue. I'm also seeing better uh, bounce off of the actual glass, so you have a lot less shadowing, a lot more area for the light to get into for your corals. So I do really like these lights. I think I will go ahead and lower them down slightly, um, but everything in the tank is doing great. I've had these lights on the tank for about two weeks now, maybe three, can't remember. This, it's all going by ways, just, it's crazy. You guys are gonna see pictures of, of my, my PAR readings. Feel free to go to my Facebook, my Facebook page, my Instagram page. Like and follow those pages for more information. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like the video on your way out. I'm out. See you.